Megan too picked out an interesting tweet that I'd like to comment on. It's from a woman, young woman named Shelby. Am I the only one that sees a problem with working eight to nine hours a day and then going home to having about four hours to yourself, which includes getting ready for the next day? This is not life. Ellipsis, dot, dot, dot. And then she added, then to be married and have kids on top, on top is capitalized of all of that wild. No wonder people are depressed and going through it. That's too much to handle. Okay, so I have a few thoughts on that. Prior to modern feminism, most women's work was the home. And then feminism came along and said, that is demeaning work. Going to an office, that's elevating, ennobling, worthwhile, purposeful. Just being a mother and a wife, making a home for your children and your husband, oh my God, that's lower than being a cheerleader, which feminism has never looked highly upon because they cheer for men, generally speaking. Anyway, back to the issue. I read Betty Friedan's The Feminine Mystique, sort of the initiating text, the sacred text of modern feminism. I think she wrote it in the 50s. I just read it last year. It was about as depressing a book as I recall reading and how awful it is for women. They're not taken seriously. They're expected to be mothers and wives. So now we have this young woman who's not a mother and not a wife and complaining about going to work eight or nine hours, which means nine to five or nine to six, which is the normal workday. What do you think men have been doing all of these years? Going to work eight to nine hours and then coming home and then getting ready for the next day. But they didn't complain about it as much because they assumed that this was what men do. Men work hard and then they have a weekend not to work. So that's, that's not all that bad. And not only that, prior to feminism, they found phenomenal meaning in supporting a family. Men will dig ditches if they know that it takes care of a wife and children. That is what gives us a tremendous amount of meaning and meaning is everything in life. But for most people, what this young woman described in this tweet, that's life. So maybe it wasn't such a horrible idea in the past, this divvying of duties. The man works hard, then comes home and prepares for the next day. And the woman works hard, but at home, not out of the home. 256,000 people retweeted this because they related to it. It's not that glamorous going to work in most jobs. It just isn't. It may not be glamorous to be a mom and a wife. Maybe life isn't glamorous. Maybe one finds meaning outside of the glamorous, but people think in terms of the glamorous. They shouldn't. My father was an accountant. It's not glamorous, but he was a very happy man. He was happy that he earned the money to make the family tick. By the way, my mother worked too, as it happens. She was hardly a feminist. Her life revolved around my father. She adored my father. By the way, he adored her. They were married 69 years. When she died, he was crushed. It really, he kept living biologically, but he, he sort of died with her. But that gave him great meaning. He learned, by the way, to love his job. He had a very important attitude. He wanted to be a doctor, but his family could not afford medical school. That was really his first love. He became an accountant because it paid money. And you know what he did? He turned being an accountant into the love of his life, professionally speaking. That's what everybody should do with whatever job they have. Everything in life is attitude. He wrote his own autobiography. He published it himself, of course. It wasn't going to be widely read. I read it. It's a wonderful book. Attitude and Gratitude. That was the name of his book. And he was right. Your attitude and whether you have gratitude, they summarize your life. So she says, and being a, a, a wife and mother on top of that, yes, you're right, that, that's very rough. Maybe it shouldn't be on top of it. Maybe it should be instead of it. Anyway, can you name me many jobs that are more meaningful than making a happy home? Seriously, I can't think of any.